Welcome to Wishlist, the art of social conscience, a series of talks, films and performances with artists who use their creative platform to highlight social issues. For this edition, we are honored to welcome the world-renowned bassist and creative figure Melvin Gibbs. He gave a solo performance and presentation on a subject he calls recombination, modes of creativity in the age of the meme. His presentation also included a screening of the film Dreams Are Colder Than That by Arthur Jaffa. Here he is, Melvin Gibbs. One reason dreams and colder than death is important to me is because I'm in it. <laughs> no, but it's important to me because of the whole context the movie came about. And it's really interesting to me because you actually get to hear the intellectual side of African Americans. So often, you know, you see the creative side and people think of us as creative beings, but you don't really see how deep thinkers even like, quote, regular people are. The thing that originally motivated me to use my platform to highlight social issues was being alive. You know, it's like, as African American, we have a unique set of challenges and dealing with life through those challenges just kind of made it unavoidable, in my opinion. You know, I did a, the math. I've been stopped by the police probably a good 300 times in my life. The way I've used it in my work is kind of oblique because it's just about living life from my standpoint. So it's digesting the sum total of my life experiences and kind of figuring out how to translate them in a way that makes sense. And that process is very similar to the process of trying to make sense to systems that are not inherently designed to make sense for me. Well, recombination is when you take elements that don't go together or hadn't previously been put together and put them together. Something new that is not recognizable by either. But the point of it was to talk about how culture has changed uh, through digital technology and mm -hmm. the way people put things together. That's why I said in the age of the meme, you'll put together yeah. a picture with something that has literally nothing, nothing to, to do, do with it. <laughs> but because it evokes a certain, you know, either comedic, you know, the, the juxtaposition is, will make you laugh or it'll bring something out of the element that wasn't there before. So that's, that's a kind of like the pop example. I don't feel it's any artist's duty to highlight social issues in their work. I feel some artists do, some artists don't. I don't even really like the framing of that as far as highlighting social issues. I, I'm highlighting my life and to the extent that I would like it in the perfect universe, you would never see anything social in my work. It would just be like, okay, he's making work and life is lovely. But unfortunately, the system that has imposed itself around my life is not lovely. And intersecting with that system basically forces a, con a context on me that requires me to make socially relevant art. Well, as far as the sacrifice of being a social activist, again, it's a question of 
how you decided to live your life. This concept of loss by doing the right thing, I, I find that con concept problematic. Okay, now I'm finished.